Hi everyone, Bill again from Soho. Thanks for supporting all the times. In order to increase our customer support quality, so I decided to make a troubleshooting video to show you guys how to deal with some problem in SV01. So in this video, I'm going to cover four main problems we have connected from user groups. So if you want us to cover more topics you wish, please leave a comment below. Also, we host giveaway on our YouTube channel or sometimes we, we announce new product as well. So please make sure to subscribe us and hit the bell to get notified. Okay, without further ado, let's start. So, if you cannot see any blue lights on your detectors, so that means it may have some problems on your filament sensors. So this could be happens because of poor contact of, of the sensor or the sensor itself it has um, it's already broken. What you can do is unscrew detector, then use filament to check if the metal seam press the red button properly. The principle of sensor is when you insert the filament. It pushes the metal seam to press the red button, which is signal to tell the printer that it still has filament left. The blue light is the main indicator for that. If your metal seam doesn't press the red button properly, you can hold the end of the metal seam and pull the seam up a little bit. All you need to do is just keep testing until the blue light is on when filament goes through the sensor. And on the other hand, it could be happens because of you switch your printer on, then you collect the cable later. So make sure you collect your filament sensor and put your filament into the filament in the filament detector before you switch on. Sometimes you might feel a little bit difficult to insert your filament into detector like this. So here is the tips for you. You can cut the angles in here. It's in 45 degree and make sure make sure when you insert your filament into the sensor, make sure it's straight and correctly for Z limited switch position so our recommendation for the position is keep the safe leveling with this here in the profile so let's install that so first you just adjust And so just adjust your position here, then screw up. That's it. So that is the position for Z switch limited. Okay, for this part, I'm going to show our SV01 extruder kit structure. So, I'm going to take everything out and to show you step by step.
Okay, now we have opened everything up, and now as you can see, so here is our blue fan, and this is our hot end fan in here. So I just unpack from here if you check it, and the cooling part. That's the cooling cooling part. So we got STL on our user groups if you need this one. And here is the whole end, whole, whole, whole end kit. So you can see it's cooling. You can see it's a heat block and heat sink in here. So now we let's take out. Okay. As you can see, this is silicon shock. This one is for filament and tube. So next, so next is how hot end works, how extranger works. So usually, we put the filament insert in extranger, and it usually go so it go through from here, from here to here. So sometimes. Your filament may get stuck into hot end, so it put cause clogging. So for this situation, you can watch our another video for um, hot end clogging issue troubleshooting. So click here to find out. So make sure you always clean up your filament before you printing. Okay, now I'm going to put everything back. So for hot bed, the most issue we meet for the beginners is bed leveling issue. So here's a simple method for you guys. So all you need to do is just prepare one clean, simple A4 paper and to level it manually. Okay, let's do it. Firstly, select auto home on your LCD. Then put A4 paper on the bed. Adjust distance between nozzle and the hotbed by moving ZX. Re recommendation distance is 0.2 mm. The key indicator is that you can feel your paper has a little bit stuck when you pull off the paper. After that, disable step motor so that you can move X and Y. Pull the paper to moderate nozzle distance by tight or lose your leveling nut. Please do same process on the other four colors. Some people may have confusion on setting Z offset. In this part, I will show you how to set up Z offset. Firstly, select the bed leveling option. Then the printer will start recording the value. By the way, if you cannot see the bed leveling option on your LCD, that means you didn't install your BL Touch yet. If you don't know how to install BL Touch on SV01, we have video for that. I have put a link on the description. Once the printer finished bed leveling, the next step is set Z offset value. Normally, we use formula A plus B equals C. To do this, select Auto Home Printer option. 
Then move Zx to make sure the distance between Lozo and the hotbed is around 0.2 millimeters. The value of Zx now is recorded at A. In this situation, A is 0.1. Next, select Initialize EEPROM option. So that your Z offset will be 0, which is recorded as B value. Overall, my A value is 0.1, my B value is 0, so my C value will be 0.1 plus O equals 0.1. So after that, your setup C value, make sure you start setting. Alright, if you still have problem with this, you can post your problem on our user group or contact software customer support to solve your cloud. The other issue we have met is sometimes some people may feel okay the whole bed movement is not that smoothly so when you move the whole bed so you may feel some stuck on the y x this usually happens because of that your eccentric latch is too tight or it has some issues on wheels so anyhow, I'm going to dispatch this whole bed and show you guys how to fix it. And also, I'm going to show you how to change your whole bed. Use wrench to adjust your eccentric nut underneath the bed. And keep testing until it moves smoothly. Also, please make sure your wheels and the profile is intact. Finally, you can check if your belt is too tight or loose. Adjust it accordingly to ensure the belt is moving smoothly. That's all for our video today. Again, if you need any help, please leave your comment below or you can reach us through Facebook or emails. We will be responding within 24 hours. Okay, see you next time. Bye bye.